we're we're unboxing another anime figure here today this is a freeing bunny girl uh, we've done a lot of these in the past these are the quarter scale uh, bunny girl figures they look very nice but this one is a bit different because uh, if you watched a few days ago you would know that in my Ami Ami box this month it came uh, ran over by a truck not really but pretty much and uh, this figure came damaged and so this is more of a let's unbox it and make sure that nothing's broke uh, because there's a good chance that it might be um, as you can see here it's all beat up at the bottom but we're gonna hold out hope we're gonna hold out hope that it's not because this is a really cool figure and i want to be completely i want to ignore the whole damage stuff thing and i want to just hope this is a really good figure and that we don't have to talk about that so let's go ahead and open it and clear all that out, and then we can talk about how well-endowed she is. Let's go. So at the time of recording this, I do not have an update on uh, whether or not uh, AmiAmi does anything about this because, uh, like I said, I buy these from AmiAmi, and 99% of the time, AmiAmi is very good about packaging stuff. I have only had one other box come in similar condition but the only thing that was damaged that time was a poster so I was more willing to just forget about it nothing else was damaged that time uh, this time it was a figure it was a poster it was a pre-order item so the, you know it was multiple things so I don't know what they did and so at this point I'm not gonna tell you to go buy anything from Ami Ami uh, but if you want to go buy stuff from Entertainment Earth they do very good and uh, you can get 10% off anything you buy from them if you use my link down below. So try that out. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll recommend Ami Ami when they prove to me that they're good. They've proven to me they're good. They're just, it's just a one-off thing, and I'm disappointed. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get her out of the box here. Uh, now one thing, sorry. Now one thing I will give not Ami Ami, but I'm going to give Fring is they do a fantastic job of packaging their figures so that even if your shipping company or your store you buy it from does not know how to package it or does not know how to carry a box without throwing it, uh, they, they still protect your figure. And that seems like that is what the case is today because this looks like it is still in very good condition. I do not, well... That's the ears. That's the ears. Don't worry. Yeah, that's the ears. So don't worry. I don't hear anything broken in it. So we'll, we'll forget about the damaged part. Uh, it seemingly uh, is all fine. But uh, let's go ahead and get the tape off of her here. Uh, now, now that I can talk about it, um, this is the second of three currently. Um, Miss Kobayashi's dragon maid freeing figures that we're going to get. Uh, Taru was the first, which is the main dragon. Uh, this one is uh, Lukoa. Lukoa. Um, she is the biggest and the most uh, voluptuous of the dragons. Um, now, the only dragons we haven't got yet is Alulu and uh, Elma. I kind of hope we get them uh, because we are getting Kana, which is uh, an interesting one. But. Uh, It'll be interesting to have them all once we get them. Um, so let's see how uh, this one is. Out of all the dragons, this is probably my least favorite. But it, as a bunny girl, I mean, I'm not going to say no to it because, I mean, like, like that. <laughs> but anyway, let's start off with the base. Um, this is one of my favorite parts. And oh... It's another one of these. It is black, so it isn't as bad. But look, it, as you can see here, it is see-through. You can see my face through there. And you can see these lines. Those lines look so bad. Now, it is black, so what I will give them credit for is that it's harder to see these lines whenever it's black. So, if I set it on the table, it's not as bad. It's not as bad as that pink base that we got from Marin. Gosh, that was a god-awful base. But this isn't as bad. I'll give them credit. This is this is fine. I, I will forget that. Um, so let's go ahead and get everything else off of her here and get her out of the box. So unlike the two uh, other freeing figures that we unboxed this month, 
This is one with the netting on her legs here. It is not a bare leg bunny. I much, much more prefer uh, the ones with the netting on it over the bare leg. Nothing wrong with the bare leg. And if you have any of the bare leg, that is perfectly fine. I have three of them myself. Still got to sharpen this knife. I don't like sawing on it. But I really like the netting. The netting is just what makes these figures, in my opinion. Um, so let's go ahead and take her out of here. Check her out. She is very heavy. Like, surprise. Like, I mean, heavy for this. It's not like she's like tons, but surprisingly a lot of heft to this thing. And uh, I think 99% of that is in her assets area okay let's set this to the side for now we will come back to that because we got to put the ears on her but let's go ahead and put her on the base here now before i do that i will real quickly kind of give you a preview here um that is uh if you've been around in this channel for a little while you remember that i made a video to where i talked about uh measuring the bust size of every freeing bunny girl that i had at the time um this one would be like Z's because we found out that they are not that accurate. They're quite over, like they're way higher than they should be. And uh, this is uh, this is much higher. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. So here's one thing that I will give. I really like this pose. So I never noticed this, but she is doing a little heart thing with her hand there. That's really cute. I like that a lot. Um, we do need to replace her little ears here. Now, these are the ears that come in shipping because uh, Fring knows that uh, you better just anticipate that your shipping company does not know how to ship items correctly. And they include these little white ears here. They're cut off so that they're easily able to be replaced with the correct ears when you are have them at home and they are no longer being threatened by a bunch of shipping companies and there we go it looks much better now so real quick i will do some close-ups of it and give you kind of an idea of what she looks like up close and then we will come back and we'll talk about it a little bit <laughs> So the first thing I want to point out here is this hair. Wow, that looks so good. I, I didn't realize it until I was kind of looking at it just a second ago, um, but that looks so good. The color diff, like the color change. I, there's so many figures that do this, and they will they they do it really badly. They will do like yellow, and then there'll be a line, and then they'll do green, and then there'll be a line, and then it'll be blue. And that looks awful in my opinion. This is doing a great job of like fading it into the green, into the blue. It looks really nice. Um, the detail in it, like the kind of flowingness of it, looks really nice. I'm actually shocked. I've noticed this recently. They're really doing a good job on like the hair of these figures. I am shocked by it. Uh, the Minori from Toradora that I did a while back that had a really good detail on the hair as well. So credit where credit's due, they nailed the hair on these figures. Also, I mentioned the hands, uh, the, they're, she's wearing gloves. And that's not something that a lot of them have. A lot of them will have little cuffs around their wrist, but not very many of them have gloves. Um, Ami from Toradora did have gloves. I think, I don't think any of the other ones I have have gloves. So this is a very interesting little piece here that this one has that a lot of them don't. Um, I'm very happy with that. Um, obviously, I can't talk about this figure without talking about her 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 breast, and they're they're very they're very large. Um, 
Uh, let, real quick, I'm going to get you some other figures to uh, kind of compare them to. So the only figure that I have that would even get in the same like region as her is uh, Azuki-chan's mom here. And uh, these are like... These are like grape size. These are like salad tomatoes or like... No, they're bigger than that. These are massive. I mean, these are like stinking, like, you could get a handful, and this is a quarter scale figure. I will real quickly compare her to Toru here, which is from Dragon Maid. And as you can see here, as in the chest department here, just, it's, it's mountains versus molehill in that comparison. Now, one thing I will mention here is that uh, Toru has this very interesting tight design that I really like, and I don't know if that'll come off on camera, but they are not as fine of a fishnet-like tights there, while this one is more of the classic fine net tights. Uh, I don't really have a preference. I thought these were neat uh, because they were something that I really haven't seen before. Um, but these are not bad by any means. I think they are very well done, and I don't really have any problems with it. So, solid. Um, no issues there. Um, as for uh, the set as a whole, um, I think they're really nice. I, that's why I want Elma and Lulu to make an appearance, because these look really nice. Obviously, um, we're getting Kana next. Um, Kana will probably be next month to the next month um and she is much different um these are like i've made the joke before this is uh large medium and then we have small and so we'll look at small whenever it arrives but um you know i mean it's it's a really good figure i'm not gonna lie i am very impressed with it it looks very nice um it may be the tallest freeing figure that I have now. I don't know if it beats out Comey. Comey is the tallest as of right now. But, uh, I, well, here, let's find out. So, she is just ever so much taller than Comey here. I will try to show you here. It is like maybe a centimeter. Like barely any. They are very close in height. Um, these are the two tallest that I have seen, but both are really nice, you know, for height wise. I don't really know if there is any coming that are going to beat this in height, but as for mass, this one definitely has it. So uh, you're getting your money's worth it with this one, no doubt about it. Uh, kind of rambling here, I guess, but I, I, I'm really impressed with it and I wanted to show you it a lot. So anyway, uh, what do you think? Do you think this is worth a pickup? I absolutely do. Um, I'm very happy that I did. I was going to skip on this one. I was just going to get uh, Toru and uh, Kana there. But I'm very glad I picked her up because I think it is worth having the entire set. And I think it... I'm very happy with that. Um, and obviously, you know, even though this box came destroyed and it ruined a poster and then a pre-order bonus, um, it didn't ruin the figure. And uh, even though the box is pretty much destroyed... Uh, this is fine, and I'm happy with that. No real issues. Um, so, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble a little bit, but I ramble whenever I really like something, so there you go. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for sticking around here, and I will uh, see you guys next time. We will have more freeing figures very soon, so like and subscribe, and you will see them as soon as I get them. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye.